Descriptive statistics in R. There are many statistics functions that can be used in R easily. Some of them are mean, standard deviation function, calculating variance, calculating minimum value, maximum value, median, range of values. We can calculate quantiles, summary of the uh, data set, row columns and uh, row sums and column sums, and row means and column means. So let's start. Uh, with mean values uh, for uh, doing uh, descriptive statistics and using data set MT class, the inbuilt data set. So first we will be calculating mean value for the MPGs, uh, for the MPG value in the MT card data set. For that, uh, the function is mean within brackets, name of the data set uh, along with the column name for which you are calculating the mean. Let's execute this command. And you can see the mean value for MPG column of MT cars data set is 20.09. Similarly, if you want to calculate median, for that the function is median within brackets, name of the data set along with the column name. It can be a different column, like I am taking MPG here, you can take other columns as well. Let's execute this command. So it is 19.2. Then we can calculate a variance. For calculating variance, so variance is the uh, value. Variance is the value which tells us how far our data is spread out. So let's execute this command. For that, we are using var. The function name is var for variance within brackets name of the data set along with mpg. If there is any issue or any error that can be occurred with the, uh, with the formula or you want to understand any of the function, you just question mark it along with the name of the function and you will get the help for your desired function. As you can see, variance, covariance, correlation, you can calculate each of the statistic function here uh, and whole of the formula is given to you like first is the data set name then if there is any random number if you want uh, it to be true or false similarly for covariance and co uh, correlation of the data now if you want to ca uh, calculate the standard deviation so for that formula is sd within brackets uh, the data set name and the column name let's execute the command so sd of this column and uh, empty cars data set is 6.02. So it is that uh, how far uh, the data is spread out uh, in comparison to the mean value of that data set of that column like MPG here. If you want to compute uh, the minimum value, so we are calculating the finding out the minimum value in MPG column of the empty cars data set. So it is 10.4. Similarly, if you want to uh, calculate the maximum value, it is 33.9. The range of the uh, column in empty car data set, so the formula for that is range. And you can see the range of MPG values uh, starts from 10.4 and the highest value is 33.9. Generic functions include the summary of the uh, column of MPG. So if we execute this command, so you can see we get minimum value, maximum value, first quantile, third quantile, mean and median of that column. So what is quantile? Quantile actually is the uh, portion of the data set, uh, the value of that data set. Uh, like So here the first quantile tell you, uh, tells you the middle value between minimum and the median value of the data set. Similarly, the third quantile tells you the uh, mean, uh, the difference between the center and the maximum value of that data set. So we are generally what uh, it is said is uh, there is four quantiles. There are four portions of the whole data set. It is equal to 100%. So uh, it is first quantile, second quantile, third quantile, and fourth quantile. Next is uh, we are calculating the quantile itself for MPG column, where uh, we are taking a sequence probability starting from one, um, zero and one having a gap of 0.25. So what we does is we uh, calculated the four portions, different quantile probabilities. So it is the first uh, value starting that is 10.4. That is that was the minimum value. Then the first 25% of the data set. So it is the difference between minimum and the 50% data set. It is 15.425. Similarly, the mean, it is the median value. Also, you can say 50% is the median value. Then there is third quantile. 
which is the difference between 50% and 100% data. And last, the, it is the maximum value of the data set. Next, calculating row and row sum and column sum. For that, I am creating a data frame here. Data frame having two vectors, A and B, with uh, numeric values. Let's print this vector. So these are the uh, this, these are the values of the uh, data frame. Now what we want is we want uh, the column sum of data frame. So column sum A and B. For that the formula is call sum wherein S should be capital. Call sum it will give you the result with the sum of columns in the data set DF. So you can see there were two columns A and B. The sum of columns is printed here. Similarly, if you want row sum. The function is row sum with capital S for the sums of the data set. So you can see it is printed in the form of vector, but it is the sum of each, uh, call, uh, each row of the data frame that we just created. Similarly, if you want to calculate column means, so it is call means with capital M in the formula and within brackets name of the data frame. So uh, the mean of a column is 4 and B column is 4.428. For row means, the fun function is row, capital M means within bracket name of the data frame. So you can see, and there is mean of each and every row of the data frame. So we have calculated different uh, descriptive statistic functions in R, mean, median, variance, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, range, summary of the data set, quantiles, and column sum, row sum, and column means and row means.